A powerboat is moving at a constant speed along a fixed course. The angle of elevation of the bridge is 12 degrees. After six minutes, the angle of elevation is 30 degrees. After how much longer does the powerboat reach the bridge? Give your answer to the nearest second. So obviously, the near first thing you've got to do is draw a diagram. So we've got the powerboat where we start at angle of elevation of 12, a bridge with height H. And then later, six minutes later, we got the power boat with an angle of elevation of 30 degrees and the bridge is the same height. Now the problem is, what is this distance and this distance? So if we say that V is equal to distance divided by time, then distance is VT. So it takes six minutes to travel this distance. So that's going to be six times 60 seconds times whatever the constant speed is, which gives me 360 V. And this distance here will be VT, T being the time that we need to find. Right, if we now do a little bit of right angle tri trigonometry on this large triangle, we can say that tan 12 degrees is the opposite, which is H, divided by the adjacent, which is 360 V plus VT. Now that makes H equal to V, taking that out as a common factor, times 360 plus T tan 12. V is a common factor here. And now using the smaller triangle here, we can say that tan 30 is equal to H over VT, which means that H is VT tan 30 degrees. Right, H is the same value in both cases. So just write those two out again, those two values of H we can now actually say that they're equal. So hence, V36, 300, 360 plus T tan 12 is equal to VT tan 30. V is, is can be cancelled out. And therefore, expanding here, we get 360 tan 12 plus T tan 12 is equal to T tan 30. We're trying to find t, so we need to collect all the t's on one side. So we've got 360 tan 12 is equal to t tan 30 minus t tan 12. Factorise the left-hand side here, so we're going to get t brackets tan 30 minus tan 12. And making t the subject, we get 360 tan 12 divided by tan 30 minus tan 12. On our calculator, our calculator, use the fraction button, which that gives you 209.76 seconds. If you uh, divide that by 60, that will give you 3 minutes, and the remainder, which is about 0.49, you need to multiply by 60 to get 30 seconds. It gives you 29.7. So it says give it to the nearest second, so it's going to take 3 minutes and 30 seconds uh, more to reach the bridge. Okay, this has been a video to show you how to find the time a powerboat reaches a bridge using some trigonometry. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.